Okay, so welcome again to another client tutorial on StarMaid. Now, you'll notice that we're working in the Windows operating system, and a lot of this will apply to Linux and Mac, but some of it won't. And as I'm not writing the tutorials on Mac, I may well do the Linux, just some Linux tutorials, because um, my server runs on Linux. But I don't have a Mac machine, so I won't be able to do any Mac tutorials. A lot of it is the same. Um, a lot of the advice is the same, though. So, you know, feel free to watch the video and take what you can. Um, today, I'm going to be looking at another bad situation. So last time it was we did an update, we tried to run our game, the game doesn't run anymore, um, and we did an up, we did a restore from the last backup, which is fine, but you might want to be running the current version um, for whatever reason. The problem could be the database is corrupted, or uh, you deleted something by accident. Whatever the reason, you might just need to do a clean installation. So um, this is a clean installation that's never been run taken from uh, episode one of this tutorial series so there's nothing that we, we've literally logged in and logged out we've never touched any of the files i think we've imported a blueprint that's about it now in the old version we're going to have a lot of blueprints and things so uh, this is going to be a good way for me to demonstrate to you how to rebuild your your star made install uh, from a clean installation without copying the old database across now there are a few notes because obviously doing it this way it's a little bit more work but it is clean if you copy the server database across although it's less time and it saves you in the long run you could be bringing across any problems that you caused <laughs> okay so if we want a clean universe we want to eliminate anything from being a problem but we do want our ships and our stations and so on um, I've already done tutorials on how to export stations but that's from inside the game so that would be a game in-game tutorial in a different different series. So uh, go back and check that in my. Uh, I think I'll put a link up actually on the annotations when I've uh, finally got the annotations set up. So we're going to assume that you already know what you're doing with creating blueprints and backing up your sectors. That means the station. And I'm going to show you where those files are now. So if we open the old version, go into StarMade. You can see sector export. This is where all of the sectors are going to be when the game exports them. And as you can see, um, I've got revisions. So as I've changed it, I've made it one number higher. And then I know that the highest number slash, you know, whatever highest size for that particular type of station is going to be the one I want to keep. Yeah, so hang them high complete is the late most complete version of Hang'em High and then Mushroom HQ September V2 because I just updated that beginning of this month okay right so those are your sectors and then obviously you've got all your blueprints now this is really easy actually guys you just double click the uh, current installation and the old version open them side by side Go into StarMade and Blueprints, and you can see on the right I have the new clean installation, and on the left I've got all my old blueprints. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all, copy, and paste. Now, you can export and import all the SM files for the ships, but I find that this can sometimes work just as well. So, do 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 replace uh, copy and replace we're just going to copy and replace everything and that's your blueprints done now if we go back again and go to ah, of course there is no sector export because on the new server we've never actually done a sector export so we're just going to go control C click in the white space on the other side and control V and that will uh, drop all of our sectors straight into this now like I was saying before you can copy client database and server database but I don't and the reason is I don't know I don't know what could be going on in those files and I don't want to go through them so it's easier just to start fresh that's why we call it a clean installation guys so 
there are a few notes because of the way we've done this all the blueprints will have no owner and they will all be set by default to enemy use so the first thing you're going to have to do is when you get logged in is go through your blueprints and take them off enemy use if you had a damocles in there pirates can spawn them now in waves of three so it's a good idea to uh, get that sorted before you do anything else next thing would be to take other use off of any of the player uploaded uh, blueprints and try to put the names back I always just say to my guys listen guys if I've forgotten to put a blueprint back in your name contact me when and I'll come online and sort it out because it takes five minutes um, you don't need to give people admin to do it you, you, you can do it you you do it you know so uh, there is that so that pretty much covers um, you know what I would call a manual manual recovery or a clean installation with then recovering your blueprints and sectors if you need to know how to import the sector I've covered that in a tutorial from the in-game so uh, you'll be able to find that as well I think I'll put a link up uh, when I get around to doing the annotations so that's pretty much it so uh, you know now we've got our clean new installation running on the latest version with all our blueprints and ready for sector import that takes a few minutes um, uh, and that's pretty much everything so in the next uh, uh, tutorial we're going to be checking out how to set up for a server so what do I need to do to get this running online if I want a public server I'm not going to show you how to connect it to the internet I'm just going to show you the uh, actual side of it like what we've been looking at so far okay so again thanks for watching questions down below because I take suggestions I'll reshoot tutorials if I've missed something important so uh, please let me know and uh, be sure to check out the next one thanks for watching Bye.